now with network address translation or with net networking so with this option this option actually allows the virtual machines on this computer using virtualization software we create virtual machines so these virtual machine can create their own private network that private network will only be on that host and those all and those all virtual machines will actually be sharing the IP address and the MAC address of the host here and that that network will be there within this host now in this case let me clear this in this case we can have we will have a virtual DHCP so that virtual DHCP will be giving IP addresses to these all nodes here like this one so these all will be getting the IP address from virtual DHCP, not the physical DHCP which we have, which, which can have on, on our network. And now, for instance, this virtual uh, virtual uh, DHCP normally they use uh, IP address. Uh, this is private IP addresses, and they are getting all these IP addresses which are actually in the same subnet, which we define up as a pool now we can have a physical uh, dhcp server for instance at my home i have this wi-fi router and now my host my physical computer will be getting ip address from this wi-fi which is wi-fi node which is actually i mean wireless router which is actually actually acting also as a dhcp server so this will be getting ip address from this for example that assign ip address to this that is 10.0.0.0 since 25 and now what happens here in this and uh, net option so in this net option these all virtual machines using their net virtual network adapter they will all be connected with a virtual switch so that virtual switch will also be provided by this virtualization software so we will have virtual switch and by default we have this vm net a which is actually by default configured with net option so what happens here these all virtual machines using their virtual network adapter they will be connected with this virtual switch like this one so this virtual is also connected with this one and then we will also have a net that is going to let me clear this so in addition to those virtual machines let's say in addition to those all virtual machines we will also have a net that is network address translator which will be translating these ip addresses to this ip address that is the ip address of this physical machine or the host machine now this this will be connected to this and now when when this so you see this is the network when this network wants to talk with the rest of the world, for example, if this wants to talk with the internet, then the traffic will be generated by these virtual machines and then traffic having that IP address will be received by the host machine and the, at the host machine, this will net will translate those or map this to this IP address. And now from this point and onward, this will look like that this this whatever data or whatever message uh, is generated that's actually generated by this and then in this way these virtual machines can also talk with the internet like this so here you can see this network is within the host itself now what will happen in this case now these virtual machines can basically and get connected with the internet but actually anyone from here by default so let's see these virtual machines have internet access but by default let me share this so by default computers on the external network cannot initiate connection to the virtual machine for example here if we have this maybe this laptop at my home this smartphone or tablet they cannot communicate directly with this these virtual machines so by default this is not possible but we have some other way by which we can allow this uh, interaction as well but let's say that by default these outside network computer cannot uh, communicate with these virtual machines and of course these virtual machines can actually communicate with each other so they are able to communicate so it means in network address translation we have a 
private network private virtual network here so and uh, they they all are getting ip address from this dhcp but when they want to communicate with the rest of the world for example with the internet then all the traffic is translated and they use this ip address instead of this one and then traffic goes like this and then they can come back and they can talk with the rest of the world but these nodes cannot talk back to the virtual machines they, they cannot like this now to show the uh, second networking option that is net network address translation so for that again i have the same virtual machines kali and uh, windows 10 and uh, now we saw that we ha already have uh, uh, the by default this machine provides us some virtual switches and vmnet a is basically uh, giving us the option of net configuration so for that i'm going to connect these two virtual machines or both of the virtual machines with vmnet a so for that i just go to edit virtual machine setting and this time instead of bridge i'm going to change it to uh, net that is net already by default this is created and we can also create uh, maybe some other virtual switch and then go to custom and then we can select any of this but at this time i'm just using this whole i mean net here so this net this net means we are going to connect this virtual machine with the switch that is vmnet 8 which will give us a net configuration so this is net and okay in the same way go to windows 10 go to edit virtual machine setting and then network so we previously we was connected with bridge we are going to connect are we going to change it to net and say okay and after this after the after this connection, I'm going to turn on this Windows 10 machine and also I'm going to turn on this uh, Windows, uh, like uh, not Windows, but this Kali machine. But meanwhile, I can show you that if you go to edit virtual network editor and this is VMnet 8, that is uh, VMnet 8 and that's actually net. So if you want to see that what IP addresses these virtual machines will be getting. So for that, if we see here, you can see this VMnet 8 by default uh, is using these IP address. You can see here 192.168.202.0. It means there will be a virtual DHCP here, which is by default configured for VMnet 8. So that will be getting IP address within this range. And so we saw this and now let's go back to Kali and let's try to log in with Kali and Kali username and password. And then we need to go to maybe we this Windows 10 like the login. Right? Yes, so we are trying to log in the Windows machine and the Kali. Meanwhile, we can see what IP address it has received, and we can see here by using if config, we can see that this time you can see the IP address. We saw that this is 192.168.202 and dot one nine one two nine sorry so it means that ip address has been received from that uh, virtual dhcp server which is in vmnet 8 then the same way we can also see this here so this will also have the same ip address i mean in the same subnet which is given by the virtual dhcp so ip config we can see here 192.168.202.12 8. so now we can see that these two virtual machines have got ip address from virtual dhcp server so they and then when we want to get connected with the internet this will be translated to the uh, ip address of my host machine but I can, at least we can sh show that these computers are able to communicate with the internet and this we can show with just by pinging google.com and hopefully we will be able to receive back some echo reply so you can see these virtual machines are able to uh, get connected to the internet and if you want to show that if they are able to communicate with each other then maybe we can ping from this vm to this vm so this vm has got an ip address uh, uh, let me verify again so that was cmd ip config that was uh, 128 so 192.168.202.128 so we can ping from this Kali to Windows uh, this Windows 10 virtual machine so for that we have ping 
and then we have uh, 192.168.202.128 so that's the IP address of uh, this virtual machine. So it means these two virtual machines actually can communicate with each other. And then the same way we can verify that this virtual machine is also able to communicate with our host. So that is dot two five. And you can see we are also able to communicate with that as well. So we can see that this net is also able to communicate with each other and also with the host. And this can also talk with the rest of the world as well. Everything is proved and let's move to the uh, host only part.